Well, it doesn't appear that I got it perfectly centered because we've got one side cleaned up and, I don't know, about 15 thousandths over here. So I think I'm just going to dial in 20 and see if we can't clean this thing up. Hey everybody, this is Richard and welcome back to Making Something From Nothing. We got a little machining video here today. I'm going to be making this tool for my brother who lives up north. It's going to be, I don't know, about 10-11 uh, inches long when it's totally done. But we're going to make it out of two pieces and we're going to make this out of a total piece of junk. And let me go get it. The channel is called Making Something From Nothing. For a reason and this was found over in the scrapyard the guy gave it to me I found actually a couple of these I think this is about 18 or 20 inches long he said I can have them I took a file to it this is machinable so I'm gonna take the threads off this thing and we're gonna make a tool for my brother big uh, threaded rod was flame cut so I went ahead and lopped off the end gives me a chance to check out the uh, the steel underneath it looks pretty good I think it's gonna work out good for the project here go ahead and mark it on this thread here and I'll go ahead and lop that piece off Okay, so the first piece that we're going to machine out of this piece of junk is this section here, which goes from here to right here. We're going to be chucking it up over here on these threads. I'm going to see how that goes. So I'm going to machine the threads off of uh, this end here, as well as this OD, and we'll see if this comes out to be an inch and a quarter, which I think it's going to be. I'm not really sure. Those threads look to be about an eighth of an inch deep. So let's go ahead and chuck it up and see how turning off these threads goes. Well these uh, serrations in the chuck jaws are going to cause me a problem because they don't line up exactly with these threads. So I think I'm going to try out my, uh, my soft jaws. I'm going to put an indicator on this and bump it around a little bit. The saw cuts uh, pretty dang straight, so I'm going to try putting in a center without facing that, because that's sticking out awfully far to be trying to face that thing. So let me just take my time and see if I can't get a center in here. doesn't appear that I got it perfectly centered because we've got one side cleaned up and I don't know about 15 thousandths over here so I think I'm just gonna dial in 20 and see if we can't clean this thing up No, 
not quite. Third time's a charm. Okay, well, finally cleaned up. Let's see what the finished diameter is. One three hundred. Well, I thought it was going to be one two fifty, but that's even better. Now I needed to still square up this end, and I don't want to do it unsupported. So I took out the live center. I put in a half dead center. And what that's going to allow me to do is go ahead and feed all the way up to the center itself. And I'll be able to face off this whole back end even while supporting it. Okay, great. We got this uh, face down all the way to the center hole while it was supported. Now, I do have a video on making one of these uh, half dead centers. They really come in handy, especially for stuff like that right there. Got a long stick out. You got to face the end. You don't want to do it unsupported. Use one of them. Okay, the stock over in the uh, lathe is basically this piece. Probably should have drew this uh, the other way around. But uh, we basically have this piece, 
I thought this diameter was going to be an inch and a quarter. It turns out to be one three hundred. So I'm just going to add fifty thousandths to that. So we're going to make that eight hundred diameter here. And we're going to leave us a square shoulder. This is an inch wide. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the stock at one inch so I know where to stop turning to the 800 diameter. Bring our live center back in and we'll start taking this OD down to 800 up to that line right there. Well I think this cutting edge right here has seen better days so we're gonna go ahead and flip this guy around. Okay, so I got 500 thousands to come off of this OD right up to that line right there. We're going to start off with 15. I'm going to bring the feed rate up pretty high so we break a chip. I guess it would help to dial in 15 thousands, huh? sure envy the guys that could take a half inch off the OD in one shot. Not doing that on this little atlas lathe, I'll tell you that. see where we're at here. Well we're at 905. We're looking for 800. Okay, so I managed to get an absolutely horrible surface finish on the last pass. Uh, imagine that. So we're going to drop in a shear tool. brother it looks like that's the surface finish you're gonna get <laughs> okay so I felt guilty and I went ahead and took some uh, 220 and some 400 to this just to clean up the surface finish and now it's time to address putting a point on this thing I know what he's going to be doing with this tool he's going to be punching through sheet metal probably about the thickness of a 55 gallon drum and I think what I'm going to do, rather than just put a 60 degree point on this, is I'm going to make this end out of tool steel. I have some W1 and I'm going to go ahead and harden and temper it so this way he doesn't dull this tool. It's a little bit more work, but 
I think it's the way to go. Our little piece of uh, tool steel that we're going to use for this tip is going to be threaded in. So I'm going to drill this out and tap it 5 16 18. And that's got to be the worst quarter inch drill bit I've got. I think I'm going to try touching up this uh, drill bit a little bit. I'm no ABOM 79, but I could do a half decent job of it. Well, that's about as much as I could do to it. So we'll go ahead and cut this off. Alright, this is the first component of the tool. I've got it faced off. We're going to go ahead and drill it and tap it for 5 16 18 using a threaded stud to go ahead and connect the two parts. All right, well the first part turned out good, so we'll move on to the second part here. I might even do the, the tip next. Okay, so what I've got chucked up here is half inch W1 tool steel. It's uh, water hardening. So we're going to go ahead and put a 5 16 18 thread over on this end. We're going to screw it into here, and once it's put together, we'll go ahead and cut a 60 degree point on it. And then I'll go ahead and harden and temper it probably after it's put together because once I uh, turn that 60 degree point, I probably will not be able to grab it to unscrew it to go ahead and harden that point by itself. So if need be, I'll just harden it while it's attached to this guy. Just a uh, 5 16 18 out of the bin. And it's beautiful. Sweet. Well, I'm not real excited about how much material I have to hang on to because we're going to be machining the end. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in a center on the hole that we drilled already into what looks to be the best position inside that chuck towards the back. And let's see how that runs. Not exactly perfect. Okay, I bumped this thing around and we're within a thou. So 
So we're just going to go ahead and screw that in and we're going to cut our 60 degree point and the tool pressure is probably going to screw that in so tight I'll never be able to get it out which is fine. Yeah, so we got a point uh, about a half inch long, made a W1 tool steel. So I'll be able to hit that with the, uh, the oxy set and go ahead and harden it and then temper it back a little bit so it's not brittle. And now we'll take this other total piece of junk and we'll make the other half from it. <laughs> 